All right, we are back for the iter the second iteration in the Tau series, uh, part one of the second iteration. Uh, we finished parts one through four of the first iteration. Uh, the last video we did was the fourth iteration in the first Tau, or the fourth phase in the first iteration of the four phases. There's going to be like, so basically the formula is there's an endless number of iterations depending on how many are needed, depending on how many it takes for everybody to reach this state we're getting to and through these videos. And then each iteration has four steps, and that's the whole formula. Right now we're on the second iteration, and so there's infinite iterations, but we're on the second one, and we're in the first of the four phases of each iteration of this one. And so... This should be a lot easier than the last video is why <laughs> I was trying to kind of explain exactly where we're pinpointed right here in our progress because this first phase in the second iteration is the same as the, it's not, it's going to be different in its context and all in its execution and, and in practice and all of that stuff, but it's the same basic idea as in the first iteration, it's and so it should be easier than the fourth iteration. There are, there are a lot of similarities between the fourth and the first iteration because they're about the illusion. But in the first phase, we just kind of touch over the illusion just in case, like, the fourth phase at the last one didn't work for anybody who's continued forward, which if they're continuing forward through this, it shouldn't have. So we just want to touch on the illusion one more time again to remind everybody quickly like, without going into as much, like, excruciating detail about, like, every single detail about the illusion and everything it is, just in, just kind of in short what the illusion is, just kind of a, a decently short summary compared to, like, the full-length explanation. And so, just as a reminder, uh, basically, for this first iteration, or the second iteration in this first phase, just as a little reminder of the illusion and what it is, the basic things that define it. Uh, the single, uh, just all-encompassing, most heavily characteristic and most accurately defining characteristic of every single aspect of the illusion in all of its different characteristics, the ov overarching, underlying, whatever you want to call it, theme that applies to basically all of it is war, is conflict, is... Um, separation, disagreement of any kind, and, and the separation that results from the disagreement when the bitterness causes the separation between and the conflict and all of that stuff. Like, that's the general, like, that's the general consensus amongst all false ideas is that war is real. And so that's just the thing to just wrap your head around right off the bat, that if you want to transcend all suffering you have to actually transcend all suffering and stop suffering and and realize that the suffering is an illusion and that you weren't doing it to begin with and that all the uh, sensory confirmation biases that have been filtering through your brain through your nose and your mouth and your eyes and all that stuff and like all the things that are going on in your reality it, the, as far as you can tell that and as far as you can tell it's your reality all those things that are going on there, it's all just illusions other than the moment at which everything is realized to be an illusion and transcended with love. That's the only part of the illusion that's real. <laughs> and the part of the illusion where there's just like bloodshed, conflict, argument, sadness, uh, marital problems, economic problems, whatever else, however you want to define the problem, it's all the same, just conflict itself, illusion that didn't, never existed, that doesn't exist, that only exists to the degree that it doesn't exist, but you believe in it anyway, just because, not really any reason, just because. <laughs> and that's that's the thing to remember about the ego, is that it has no, like, filter for what's true or false. It just has a filter for what it doesn't want you to believe is true, and for what it wants you to believe is true. And it wants you to basically believe that everything that's false is true and everything that's true is false. And there's only one thing that's true and everything else is false. And so the ego's job and your job, if you accept the ego's assignment of its job to you, <laughs> is basically to just 
do endless work trying to prove something that's improvable, trying to do the impossible and just fighting an uphill battle that never ends, that always that always results in like illusions of bloodshed and stress and fear and uh, false desires for power and domination and things like that and control over others and all those kinds of lower vibrational ideas. Uh, the four aspects of control that apply to the illusion are fear of control, fear of being controlled, like basically fear of controlling others, fear of being controlled by others, and then the other two are desire to control others and desire to be controlled by others, all of which are an illusion, all of which are transcended by somebody whose chakras are perfectly balanced, whose energy is perfectly in tune with the infinite, who's got gotten to the point where everything that they remember is just the not really anything they just are all of their memories of bliss and so they're just in bliss <laughs> and and all that's left is to just basically experience in its purity the bliss and be the bliss and it's pure and in a pure like form of blissful experience and that's all that's left to do as one with all other participants in reality <laughs> and that's that's kind of the final stage and that's why i just want to like describe exactly how awesome it is so that because, like, that's all there is to it about how awesome it is, and you can't understand it until you feel that way, and so you just have to have the faith until the feeling awakens inside of you, because faith is the only thing that can activate the feeling inside of you, because the only thing you can do without the faith is just keep proving wrong all of these illusions one by one, and so that's why we have video one and video four, is basically to just touch on the illusion, what it is, just so you can recognize it on your own, so that you can start doing it on your own without needing the final video as much, so that you can kind of start to get to the point where you're transcending it, so that you can kind of start getting to the point where your filtration system is properly wired, and where you're filtering the illusion instead of the truth, and where you're not filtering the truth in, in favor of the illusion. In this weird, insane reality you've dreamed yourself into pretending like is real. <laughs> and so that's the essence of what this video is about. And we're just going to continue touching on like what the different aspects of the illusion are and what you can expect to experience if you believe in any lies and not the truth. And so the past, that is one big illusion that's just not actually real. Like anything you think happened in the past that was horrible never happened and anything that you think happened in the past that was wonderful is actually already happening right now as you recollect that wonderful feeling and it happens to you presently because the present feeling of joy is the only actual truth that was actually real about any past experiences that have ever happened between anyone and you and everyone and you all that stuff in the past is not true about you today. All that stuff is just gone, is false. Like, we are all, like, infinitely evolutionarily capable beings that can at any point just choose to evolve and transcend beyond all illusions of the past and the future and just live in the eternal present where all time, where all times are contained in parallel with each other, where all times are just in superposition with each other and being experienced at once. There's no, like, past, there's no future, there's no none of that. All of that is an illusion, so you just let go of that idea. You just let go of the idea that the illusions of suffering in the past were real, and that the illusions of suffering in the present are really present, because they're not. And the second you decide to let go of the illusions of the past that have you clinging to the idea that the present is violent, the present ceases to be violent and is filled with peace, because the relationships you share and the conversations you have and the people who you share all these relationships with, who you currently share all these relationships with that are just highly attached and codependent and reliant on the past and the forgiveness that you're holding on to the idea of the necessity for the forgiveness of all the suffering you imagine happened in the past and that's still happening today as you project it forward into the present. And you basically just need to like let it all go and just realize that all relationships are potentially in any state at any time at any moment as long as you're just willing to offer complete forgiveness in the form of just forgetting anything that was ever false which is all forms of conflict that ever existed in the relationship and just seeing them in the form of like their truest self which is just free of all conflict and only present with love only present with like i love you and i'm here for you and nothing is necessary between us but all of it is beautiful and i'm glad it's there kind of relationship instead of just 
and it's always there and it's never gone. And so you're never just like hungry or miserable or codependent or like upset that you're not getting enough time together because all the time in the world is already there and all the time in the world between everyone you've ever wanted to have a relationship with is already there and you want the relationship between everybody and you because all of it's loving now because you've let go of all the baggage from the past and the illusions that the past exists and that the past is continually happening in the present right now as you bring it into the present with your illusions that you project into it of the past and its existence in the present. And so what you're left with is just freedom from all of the conditioning of the past that you've created the illusion of existent in the present. And the, all the conditioning is just gone because it was never real. And you can just trust the fact that your mind just automatically disagrees with anything that's not real. And so the second it, the second it is, uh, reminded of every single bit of information it needs in order to dismiss anything other than the truth as true and the falsities as false. Like the second it knows the truth through and through and is completely sure of it in all aspects, all the illusion is just already gone because your mind is literally like physically incapable of believing in it anymore. It's the same as like how you can't possibly believe that like one plus one is three because you just know it's not like you can't you, if you just heard that you'd be like no it's not and you couldn't believe it was true because you know it's false that's how it is when you fully remember the truth and the way it feels and whenever you feel any bit of illusions of suffering coming on you're just instantly like no <laughs> and it's just no <laughs> and and it's you're, you're you've already dismissed it before it's ever come and it's all always gone before it ever hits and that's how it works when you're free of all illusion, and that's how it works when you're free of any um, any illusion left that's got you clouded at all on what exact on, on any on any amount of clarity at all whatsoever, other than complete clarity on the truth. Once it's all gone, it's all gone forever, and you're never suffering again, and you're just in this state of perfect bliss amongst all of your amongst all of your different uh, friendly colleagues on Earth who are all just there for you, who are just love you who just don't need anything from you you and you don't need anything from them because everything is already there and everything you need is already present and it was never gone and it's always there and it's always provided by the universe and if you don't believe that right now because you're still suffering under the illusions that are bringing those illu those illusions of lack into your brain then you just need to let go of your illusions of lack and let the abundance come in and start giving abundance to others in the form of sharing these same thoughts with them and just awakening other people to the same truth and the same falsehood of all these illusions people currently pretend to believe in on the subconscious level to the point where consciously it just seems real. And so at this point where you get to where just this is you on every level down to the deepest subconscious state, which is not where you're at right now, if you, if you just don't if you if you've just always dusted the idea of subconsciousness under the rug and just not bothered to like figure out where you're at subconsciously and just where you want to be subconsciously and just let go of all the stuff that's just bullshit and false and sufferable and insufferable and just let the true peaceful eternal truth just be inside of you down to the deepest subconscious level without any Ill illusions of distortion as we just talked about in the previous lengthy video in the fourth phase of the first iteration um yeah you just let go of all of that distortion you just let go of all of it you just let it be inside of you in full and instead of projecting any of it outwards and creating like illusions of conflict between yourself and others you just let it sit inside of you and let it not be in conflict with itself and instead of being in destructive interference with itself by projecting it outwards and having it return back to you and destroy itself as it conflicts with you and your understanding of whether or not it's true or not when it's not these illusions of suffering and violence you just let it all soak back into you and amplify your feeling of love exponentially as it as it uh resonates inside of you with a greater and greater amplitude and builds inside of yourself with more and more constructively interfering lovingness <laughs> and just builds you up and up and up and up and your vibration just gets more and more and more ample and amplified and abundant and all of that stuff it all just expands that's all you need to remember that's all it is that's all that the truth is and then the illusion is just anything other than that <laughs> if you ever experience anything like whatever else even like things that are as basic and seem so horrible as like hunger and stuff like that like all of it is just gone if you just remember the way this feels and this feeling trumps all other feelings 
Like, even if your physical husk, like, kicks out, even if it ceases to function, like, you'll still be feeling, like, so blissed out till the very end that it won't even matter. And chances are that, like, before that even is necessarily happens, which whether or not it happens won't determine whether or not this feeling is gone for you. Whether or not you decide it's gone in this present moment is whether or not this feeling is ever extinguishable for you. And what determines whether or not it's just constantly just obscure to you throughout all your incarnational cycles like and just never unobscure to you like this is the moment to capitalize like this is the moment right now no matter what the cost no matter how many incarnations of learning it takes you just need to start this learning curve and stop going on the learning curve of further and further illusions and distortion because further and further illusions and distortion will just send you on an endless chain of incarnational mayhem that just gets more and more dark and conflicted and violent the more and more incarnations you go through and refuse to learn this lesson it'll just keep getting darker so you just don't don't do it just it's not worth it just 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 take this lesson right here right now no matter what it takes no matter what you need to let go of no matter what pain you need to buy the idea of it being an illusion of pain it's it's an illusion just you just buy the idea that pain is an illusion you just buy the idea that um that no matter what happens in any of your physical illusions, in any of your incarnational illusions, that the only truth that has ever existed throughout all, every single one of your incarnations, if you cross-reference them all with itself, that the only consistent theme throughout all of it that has been true throughout all of it, that will ever be true throughout all of it, is this feeling of infinite bliss that is eternally present and available to you the second you decide to stop calling on anything other than it. And so that's the illusion in a nutshell, and it's just basically the opposite of everything that's ever been good. It's basically just the opposite of anything that's ever been healthful, happy, and and rejuvenating and blissful, and it's never not available to you, and there's never anything that can keep you from experiencing it at the second you decide you want to experience it and give a shit about, about it above all else. And and it is it, and it is something you must share with others you can't just keep it to yourself you can't just keep yourself like locked away and just expect to just like isolate yourself from everyone else and separate yourself and judge them and like do all these other things in order to just keep it all to yourself that is like the opposite of what it is that what it actually is is like sharing in this infinite bliss with the entirety of any possible like variation of the universe that exists and if you believe in the multiverse idea or however you like to put it or any different version of you in any different incarnational like uh in any different incarnational uh vibrational signature that's ever that, that you've ever phased into as a consciousness like any any of the, those infinite possible vibrational combinations of sign of uh, energetic vibrational signatures that have existed, like that's all that an incarnation is, is a unique vibrational signature that you've distorted yourself into experiencing in favor of all other experiences. So like this body you've got right now is just a specific vibrational frequency, kind of like a phone number, how you have a specific phone number, like your incarnation is kind of like your unique phone number. And it's your idea of what you are instead of every other phone number. You are all the phone numbers, trust me. And um, if you don't, just fully accept all of them in their truest form, not in the form where you're in conflict with them. Just reject all forms of conflict between people, but just accept all forms of truth between between all people. And not don't reject it in the form of violence. Reject it. That's that's accepting it. That's accepting the violent experience between you two. Just reject the violent experience between you two by accepting the idea that all the violence is an illusion and refusing to believe that anything other than this opinion that it's all an illusion and insanity is insane. <laughs> anything other than the belief that insanity is insane is insane. <laughs> anything other than the belief that, like bloody pointless illusions of conflict that were never necessary that don't exist that never existed that never will exist and never did exist to begin with is insane any belief other than that that is insane is insane <laughs> and any belief that that is sane whatsoever any belief that that is sanity any belief that you have some sort of obligation to it that you have to worship it that you have to like praise the idea of sacrificing or like the the idea that other people are sacrificing for you that's the biggest fucking theme in religion that the idea that somebody else sacrificing for you is somehow beneficial 
that wasn't the benefit of Jesus dying. Jesus is dying. The benefit of Jesus dying was not the fact that he died. He didn't even die. He was already back before he was gone. He didn't sacrifice anything. It's not a lesson of sacrifice. It's a lesson of the illusion that sacrifice is real. <laughs> it's a lesson that Jesus was never sacrificed, that he never sacrificed anything, and that you never have to sacrifice anything, and that the physical body is nothing. <laughs> and that as soon as Jesus' physical body was gone, like he was literally in this light body form that was already active before he died, and that was already active after he died, that he can just channel into incarnational husks whenever he needs to talk to people who are incarnated <laughs> like that's what jesus was teaching and that's what you need to learn from the christian teachings is and i'm not even saying you need to be christian i'm just saying like if you've ever judged christianity like just remember that that's what christianity was meant to be before like the political elite got their fingers into it and all that stuff that you use to demonize the idea of jesus which jesus didn't even really do any of it he was just used as a scapegoat for like religious power grabbing like, Jesus himself was wise. He was a transcendent being. He just, his messages got distorted because that's always possible when it comes to the distortions of darkness. The distortions of darkness, you're always free to cast them over the, the truth of light. And that's just how the light works because the light is passive and never forces anything on anyone. And so that's what happened with Jesus's teachings, with the teachings of Ra and the Law of One channeled material, with the teachings of like anything like the Seth Speak stuff. I never actually read that stuff, but I've heard it's really similar to the Ra Contact. All of that stuff, it's just instantly unavailable to you the second you decide it's unavailable to you by believing in the illusions that it is <laughs> and believing in the illusions of political power grubbing and like political control and like elitism and specialness and separation and I'm better than this person therefore I need to separate myself from them and protect myself from the illness that is them and all these different kinds of ideas like this is all illusion like the, and this is all what Jesus was teaching you to learn is not true and it's all been inverted because of the exact same things we've already talked about in the be, further towards the beginning parts of this video about how the ego literally just takes everything that's true, inverses it, and tries to convince you that it's uh, all false and that all the falsehoods are true, no matter how insane they are, and they're all insane. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter how insane they get, how bloody they get, how violent they get. The ego is merciless. The ego is bloodthirsty to the fullest extent of what's possible and the illusion that's fleeting and never true. The, all the ego wants is for you to die. All the ego wants is for you to suffer. All the ego wants is for you to like basically just kill yourself and kill others and just murder all of what's ever been good. And that's why the illusion is false because nobody in their truest of true hearts wants that at all. Even the people who have like inflicted the most suffering of all, like somewhere deep down in there, they thought they were doing it for some sort of good, for some sort of like outcome that was just never coming that would just come one day or whatever and they were just projecting the past into the future and doing all these things that i talked about in the beginning of the video where they just take the past and project it into the future and the past and the present and everywhere and they're just like and that's why this person is to blame and that's why we need to do horrible things to them and that's why i need to prove why i'm superior and they're inferior and why we deserve to murder everybody else except us, and then once everyone else is finally murdered and it's just us left, then that's when we'll finally be okay, except then you'll just die yourself because you won't have any of the rest of us left to help sustain you because without everyone else, like, reality itself would just not exist <laughs> because it just does, it wouldn't work <laughs> and, and it's all insanity and it's not true and what you have to do is just let go of the insanity and just let go of the idea that the ego is ever right it's never right and the idea that the truth is false ever when it's never false because it's always true because it's the truth <laughs> and so you just let go of the idea that the truth is true and that the false is false or that's the idea you grab on to see what i mean like it's so easy for the ego to just take over that's not what i meant don't let your ego convince you it's what i meant and convince you that because i made a mistake i deserve to be condemned just accept the fact that i made a mistake my bad and <laughs> let's just let go of it together and yeah the truth is that 
is, is that the truth is true. <laughs> and the false is that the false is false and insane and doesn't make any sense and never will and will never add up no matter how much of the past you try to bring into the present to make sense of the present with the past because the past is an illusion no matter how much you try to make sense of the past using the present because the past is an illusion and the present can't make sense of it because the present is true but the past is false and so the true can't make sense of the false because the false can never be true and you just have to keep reasoning through it yourself in your own mind follow always coming back every single time to the single point of infinite only true truth that is only ever good, that is only never false, and that is never truly verifiable, tr tr truly capable of verifying any illusion to be true whatsoever because the illusions are always false and truth are, is always true, and truth leaves no room for suffering, truth leaves no room for falsehood, truth leaves no room for war, truth leaves no room for unlove and infliction towards yourself or others of anything other than giving passively if they'll take it, which they will, if you just address it as such and don't let any illusions into the conversation of love. <laughs> and just, yeah. <laughs> and until people are willing to consent to that, you just have to keep talking them through their illusions in the context of love, which that's the only context you can talk about the illusions in in a loving way is in the context of them being insane, which is the only voice of reason with what you can talk about them from, which is from the perspective of where all of it's insane and not, none of it makes sense because none of it does and all of it never will and all of it always will when you see it through the light of it being insane and the truth being just pure conditionless bliss where you don't need anything other than the bliss that already existed and never won't exist. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much... That's pretty much what everything I needed to cover in this video. Uh, that's what the definition of negative polarity. If you want to look into the physics of polarity, that's actually like the physics behind it is basically like the way magnets work when they the, and the way they're like polarized in the f uh, the flux of energy through them and the way energy flows through them. Uh, you can either have negatively polarized energy or positively polarized energy and negatively polarized energy is being controlled by the ego and positively polarized energy is being is not being controlled at all it's just like the way things naturally flow and there's no need to control any of it it's just the way things flow and the love just happens and it just doesn't happen if you try to force negative polarity on yourself or others but it does happen if you decide to stop consenting to to that happening by doing it and start just not doing that and letting the love just happen for you. <laughs> so yeah, that's just the, so you just let go of illusions of violence, worship of an unholy relationship with violence and just let the holy relationship of love, whether you want to call it a holy relationship or a loving relationship or whatever you want to call it. If you're like religious or scientific or whatever you want to identify with, you just, you just need to recognize that no matter whether somebody identifies as religious or scientific, that this is their truest self and their uh, deepest sense of logic uh, always returns back to this idea. And that's why you found this video. That's why this video found you. That's why the universe will keep sending you this message until you buy it, until you believe it, until it's the only thing you're invested in anymore. And the, until it's the only thing you're invested in giving to others, until it's the only thing you're invested in receiving whenever it offers itself to you. You don't need to ask for it. You just ask for it by giving it to other people, by sharing this with people, by talking about this on your channel or with through your relationships or with your friends and family. And it's going to be difficult. It's going to feel difficult at least. It's not actually going to be difficult. It's just like good feels bad until you realize it feels good, until the bad feeling has fully passed out of your system. And what's going to initially happen is that all of the fears you've got of whether or not it's going to hurt are going to dredge back up and it's not actually going to hurt, but it's going to dredge up and it's going to, and it's going to feel so terrifying because you're going to, because you're going to be so terrified of the idea that it's going to hurt so bad. And it's just all these things are going to go wrong and you're going to have all these fights and there's going to be all this misery and yada, 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 yada. And that's, potentially going to happen between both of you and the relationship is going to feel strained all of your relationships are going to feel strained and like there's going to be 
there's going to be all these feelings of conflict, but the reason for that is because they were already there latently, subconsciously between you two as judgments that have kept you separate and kept you silent and kept you from talking about these things. And all these things are just things that dredge up and that finally vanish once you talk about them all. And once they're all just gone and passed out of your system, and once you've finally just like gotten it all out of your system and you've talked about all of it and you've talked through all of it and realized how insane it all is and let go of all of it. And so that's kind of like what I want to ask of you is not really to ask anything of you and to just let you know and get offer you the service of just letting you know that like this is what what would happen if you believe in any illusions still between you and your family and all these people and friends and like strangers and even like if you see yourself as like enemies with anyone else like whether it be like other countries if you're political and like warlike in your politics or whether it be like against the people who you see as warlike in your politics who you think you need to go to war against to finally extinguish war by going to war with war which is also insane <laughs> which is kind of like the liberal view and then like the republican view of just like fuck it let's just accept war anyway since war is the reality anyway and let's just accept the idea that we need to go to war and just fight fight the war to end the war <laughs> which is also insane <laughs> really just both sides are saying the same thing with different scapegoats which is the other one like that's the liberals fault it's the republicans fault they're both just saying the same damn thing they're both just snowflakes that are suffering so much with like all of the s suffering that results from believing in war and all of the physical toll it takes on your body and all of the weakness that it gives you to your body and all of like the like war injuries that you get and all of like the and all of like the PTSD and the mental weaknesses that you develop as a result of believing in war and all these things whether you believe in fighting with fighting the idea of war with peace or <laughs> whether you <laughs> believe in the idea of fighting the idea of war with war <laughs> or whatever you believe like it's all just war that you just let go of that you just don't need to fight at all that just is already gone the second you realize it's insane that you let go of it and and this is just the these are just the conversations you need to start having if you want to have uh bliss if you want to have joy and if you want it to stop being interrupted by shit if you want it to stop being interrupted by misery if you want it to stop being interrupted and these are all all the illusions of, but still happening as, to the extent you believe in them. The illusions of hate, illusions of fear, illusions of like exclusion based on your race, gender, ethnicity, or political affiliation, or career choice, or economic status, or any of that stuff. Like all of it is illusions created by this belief in conflict to begin with and the necessity to fight for the extinguishment of any of the beliefs you have in the existence of any of it or the belief you have that you need to fight to uh whatever uphold it if you think that it's which you don't really in your heart of hearts believe that like you should like hate other people and that you should like wish the worst for them or that you should extinguish anyone else or deem them as somebody who needs to be extinguished or like exterminated or killed off or any of that stuff in any way natural or otherwise it's not necessary it's unnatural that nature has even gotten to a point where it's seems to do that to people which it's not it's just it's just like removing your incarnational illusion the second it's gotten to the point where it's so painful that it's just that it's just time and that the, and that it's and that you're just ready to let go of the illusion and so nature takes your illusion away from you and that's why people feel at peace when they're finally dead if they believe in the illusions till the very end because it's just nature literally just finally going like all right you're asking you're asking for this i just need to do this for you because you're just suffering too much and and that's why the illusion of death exists is because people believe in the illusion so deeply that they just they just consent to the idea that I have to die. Like you hear it, like you hear this idea of people saying like, I need to just embrace death and accept my inevitable demise. <laughs> everyone does it, literally everyone. <laughs> Even the people who are like transcendent, they just mistake death for death and not life. Like they mistake like the incarnational death for, for death when it's just an illusion to begin with. They mistake like the cells dying for them dying when really it's just the cells refreshing and being reborn as new cells. Like you can just have have cells that are fresher each time they rebirth like you can just have like cellular regeneration every single one of your cells is constantly regenerating you can just have them regenerate healthier than they were before if they were generating unhealthier than they were before before now just by believing that that's happening and just by having faith in nothing but that and just dismissing as false any 
other belief that anything other than that was ever real and in the truest sense of what like the universe itself actually wants for you which you are the universe itself wanting that for yourself if you really want to get into the absolute truth of it you are the entire universe as we've gone over in previous videos if you remember how consciousness works you are literally just the radio station channeling into your radio <laughs> your incarnation your body and the second you buy that fact the second you buy the fact that the station that you're tuned into like is only one station and if you included all of the stations and you understood all of the stations and all of you came together as one and understood in full as one that all of the illusions are an illusion and the truth is the only truth <laughs> the music that you would hear on that station is boundlessly beautiful it's infinitely gorgeous and that's all you need to remember and then that's the truest you and no matter how many incarnational husks you accidentally spawn in <laughs> believing yourself to have needed to <laughs> And no matter whether or not, like, you stay in this incarnational husk or you decide to, like, transcend into your light body or you decide to just, like, give yourself just enough fucking healing to just stay in this incarnation forever, whatever you want to do, like, you're, you're, it's your prerogative. I don't really care. It's up to you. All, all you really, all I really need to know is that you're full of love, I'm full of love, the universe is loving and full of love, and that any illusions of pain and conflict that have ever existed have been illusions and always will be. And that is, in summary, this first video summarizing what you'll get the full rundown in again in the fourth video and just its entirety, all the physics, all the circumstances, all the personal examples, and just run through as many different stories and all that different stuff that I can think of to run you through and examples and stuff and just run you through how it would actually go in the most logical sense of the word, which is always the logic vanishes and always the logic sets in. And the logic is always what's worthwhile at all in this universe ever other than this infinite love <laughs> between all of us as one. No matter who comes into your life, just offer it to them. No matter who comes out of your life, just send it to them psychically afterwards. No matter who comes no matter who you sense coming into your life, just start sending it psychically before they get there. And then while they're there, just keep sending it. Don't care whether they're there physically or not. Just keep psychically sending it through your energetic state, through your through just being loving in your state of existence and your state of being. Trust me, people will be able to sense the radiance and sense the difference and sense your happiness. Like I, I get that all the time. And, and, and people who are in the ego mind think, think of it as I'm special or something, but it's not like that's again, that's the ego talking. That's the separation mind talking. Like I'm not separate or special or different or anything like that at all. My vibe is your vibe. The only difference between my vibe and your vibe is that you haven't consented to your true vibe yet. And I have to more of a degree. I still suffer with the illusions because I, you still suffer with the illusions and we all still suffer with the illusions to the degree that all of us still suffer with the illusions. So let's just keep transcending them together. <laughs> Much love. Uh, I mean, with love. <laughs> See you in Tau 2, Phase 2, Tau Phase 2 and whatever bonus content comes between, or after, or at all. <laughs>